Hi everyone, welcome back to our homeschooling channel. So we invented this game that we're playing using... Lego! Lego! If you're new here, my name is Jackie and I'm a homeschooling mom of three. In this video, I want to share with you a game that I'm using to teach a four-year-old addition and subtraction concepts. We're just laying the foundation so that when we go to really add and subtract, he will have a framework to build upon. So for this game, we're only going to be using Legos and some cards. Um, you just need pieces of paper that you're going to write plus and minus on. So you take your cards and you put them in an opaque jar that the kids cannot see what card they're picking out. And then you give each one 10 Legos to start. And obviously the kids are going to be playing with the Legos, uh, which adds to the fun. So then what happens, they take turns picking a card. So if they pick a plus, it means they get one more Lego. If they pick a minus, it means they lose one of their Legos. Hey Joshi, what's this game called? Plus and minus. Plus and minus, very good. Okay, so how do we play it? How many do you get to begin? Five. Okay, and Hannah, what happens next? So, um, this bucket is called plus and minus. Like, you reach your hand and if you get a plus, you get one. And if you don't, if you get a minus, you have to give them back. Let's see how you play. Okay. This one is minus. Okay. So, what does that mean? You put one back. Your yeah. turn, Joshi. Come on, Joshua, get a plus. Plus. What does that mean, Joshi? I get one. Very good. The good thing with this game is it can be played by one or it can be played by the whole family or with a group of friends. So sometimes Joshua played it by himself where he just um, took a card and then did whatever the card said. If it was a plus, he got one more piece to add on to his spaceship or if it was a minus, he had to put one back. That's how the, the game begins out. And then once you see that your child has learned the concept of plus and minus, then you can add numbers to it like we did here. For this part of the game, I kept the numbers under six for the sake of the four-year-old. I didn't want to overwhelm him with having to add and subtract larger numbers off the get-go. So um, now he had to learn that it was not just about the plus and minus, but it was also about the number next to the sign. And slowly but surely, he picked up on it with the help of the siblings. What do you get, Joshi? And one. What is it? What is it, Joshi? Is it a I plus or minus? Minus. Minus means what? You, you give put... one back. Exactly. So that's what we had for you in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you would like more ideas on how to teach or instill a love of numbers in your kindergarten now, please subscribe to our channel and look through our previous videos. Thanks for watching. Please share. Click the notification bell and subscribe. Thank you and see you in the next video.